President Savier, President Berman, Dean Tomaselli, members of the board, distinguished administrators and faculty, esteemed honorees, graduates, and friends. Blessed are you, God, master of the universe, who has sustained us and kept us and brought us to greet this joyous occasion. We thank you for directing and guiding the leadership and faculty of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, for teachers whose passion for science and medical research is only surpassed by their passion for their pa patients and students, and who have succeeded in transmitting those joint passions to a new generation of scientists and physicians. We ask that you continue to sustain and inspire them so they in turn can continue to inspire. And we pray that our graduates follow the wonderful example that they have set. Thank you for providing our graduates with wonderful parents, spouses, family, and friends whose support and sacrifices have enabled our graduates to reach this momentous milestone. We beseech you, Almighty God, to bless the graduates in all their endeavors. Teach them to appreciate and revere the divine spirit that animates each and every one of their patients to provide not only expert medical advice, but passionate care as well. Teach them to uphold the highest standards of ethics in their personal and professional lives, to be upright in the eyes of God and man. Teach them humility. May they glean wisdom and guidance from their teachers and mentors, from their patients and colleagues. And help them to never tire of the great mission and purpose to which they have devoted their professional lives, to help and to heal. May they live by the sage's dictum that all who save a single life are considered to have saved an entire world. Always sustain them and assist them in the performance of their sacred work. And let us say, Amen. In case you're wondering, they lost my hat. <laughs> Please be seated. President Safir, Dean Tomaselli, President Berman, Dr. Spiegel, Dr. Ozawa, distinguished guests, members of the class of 2019, alumni, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wonderful occasion as we celebrate this commencement and the 50th anniversary of our 11th graduating MD class. It is a pleasure to see so many happy people in one place at one time. Before we begin with the festivities and formality, I have one somber note to share with you. Our longstanding dean, Dean Perpera, 22 years, the longest serving dean in the United States, passed away last week at age 92. He was an inspiration for most of us here. But today is a time for celebration. So at this time, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce the Marilyn and Stanley Katz Dean of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, Dr. Gordon F. Tomaselli. Well, this is a great day. Let me welcome our newly minted physicians and scientists, their family and their friends to the 2019 graduation of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. This is my second graduation. It's my first as the Maryland and Stanley Katz Dean of the College of Medicine, um, and it's my second first as a graduate in the class of 1982. I am delighted, honored, and excited to be back at Einstein in my new role. It's an opportunity to give, for me to give back to the place that made a major impact on my life and professional career. Einstein is a remarkable place that has um, and has a remarkable place in the history of American science and medicine. And we welcome you as part of a family of over 9,000 alumni. We wish you all the best in the next phase of your professional adventure and want to assure you that you will always have a home at Einstein. When I welcomed the class of 2022 last summer, I told them that medicine and biomedical science is an exceptionally rewarding career. And I'm not certain what it's going to be, but you will have a front row seat to, a tr to transformative changes in biomedicine and biomedical science that will not only impact human health, but the human condition generally. So stay engaged, 
and to quote our namesake, the ideals which have lighted me on my way, and time after time, given me the courage to face life cheerfully, have been truth, goodness, and beauty. My deepest and most sincere congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2019. So at this year's commencement, I'm very pleased to announce that quite a few of our graduates have honored us today with their presence. Several are marching in the ceremony today and others are in our audience. Congratulations to our pioneering 50th anniversary class, the 11th graduating class. A graduate of that groundbreaking class, Dr. Ira Sussman, will present the class of 1969 Dr. Swassman, please come forward. In the late summer of 1965, I joined 99 other classmates as part of the 11th class, the homogeneous class of 1969. We were 95 young men and five young women, one of which would soon become my wife, Nancy. Our four years held many similarities to today's times. There was a war in Asia, and at home, a divided country witnessed racial inequalities and violence in the streets. In the Bronx, on our obstetrics rotation, we witnessed the carnage caused by illegal abortion. Einstein was our oasis. Unmarried first-year students lived in the Mazer dorm. Our small rooms contained a narrow bed, a closet, a sink, and a desk. We ate our meals in the cafeteria, where A.B. dished out the food. After a few months, Nancy realized that A.B. sized up each student in the food line and gave out more food than could possibly be eaten. She postulated that A.B. knew God would one day ask him if he took good care of the medical students. Years later, we told this tale to an Einstein dean who started laughing and told us that at the start of each academic year, A.B. was given a list of the students in financial need and was told to make sure no one went hungry. That was the Einstein that nourished and educated me. The world may have held similarities by our current but by current standards, education was in the dark ages. There were no note takers, no syllabus, and of course, no computers. You had to be able to read your own handwriting, something I never fully managed. And some classmates, and even faculty, question the role of women in medicine. After my training, I returned to the Bronx as a hematologist and then pathologist at Montefiore. As a member of the Einstein faculty and the admissions committee, I witnessed firsthand the amazing growth and diversification of the student body during the past 50 years. I also witnessed and participated in the nonlinear change in the einstein montefiore relationship, culminating in the eventual marriage. Finally, I watched on television as this once quiet, conservative neighborhood sponsored a noisy AOC town hall. Einstein was good to Nancy and me, including giving us needed financial support, and in return, we tried to be good to Einstein, supporting the Alumni Scholarship Fund every year. I hope members of the 2009 gradu 19, excuse me, graduating class share a similar love of Einstein and will support the school in the future. Thank you. <laughs> 